Good morning, this is Keith Hall, and today's tutorial will be on how to make an action query in Access 2016. Now, in Access, it gives you the ability to make many different uh, qu uh, queries. And if you go up to your ribbon and select the Create tab, and then go over to the Query Design, under your queries group and click on that it's going to give you many different options to create these action queries and these action queries can uh, be your make table query append query update query cross tab and delete queries today we're going to be focusing on how to make a table out of a select query so uh, today we're going to focus on this particular database and we're going to create a separate table for for the list of states only. So what we want to do is um, we want to uh, uh, do the uh, select on uh, the select tab up here and we're going to uh, select the customer table in the show table dialog box so you can double click on that or select it and click add and now we want to close and now we want to just select the state uh, field so we could double click on that to bring it down into this lower uh, box down here and uh, what we're going to do is uh, if if we go ahead and click on view here, you can see that it brings up, just brings back the state field, but it brings back every single row in that table, which is 45, roughly 4,500 records. And what we want to do is we want to bring back just the distinct values only for the state field. So let's go back here. We go back to the uh, design and now what we want to do is we want to uh, bring up the property sheet so if you click anywhere within here we're going to bring up the property sheet for the query so you come over here up to the upper right hand corner in the show hide uh, group and click on property sheet brings up your properties of your query and then what we want to do is we first want to make a unique value query out of this select query. So we come over here to the uh, property sheet and we want to select the unique values property, which is right here, unique values. And what we want to do is we want to bring this uh, select yes. So we could go ahead and close the property sheet. Now if we go back to view, you can see now it only brings back the unique values for the state field only and it reduced the data set down to 40 records now not all states are listed in this particular customer table at this time but eventually all the states will be there because this um, database was comprised of customers that had bought in particular states and not all states were utilized at that time so we want to come back here and click on view to bring uh, come back to the query and um, what the, our next step is we want to make a separate table out of the, the results set of this unique value query so if we go up to um, up here to the query type group we want to select make table so we're going to select make table and now we're going to uh, create a table out of that unique value query so we're going to call this state list and wh what uh, what this is going to do is it's going to create a whole new table called state list in our current database so we want to click on OK now at this point it didn't create the table yet as you can see it didn't create the stateless table yet now when you do an action query 
what you want to do is you want to click on this run button over here once you click on that run button it'll make the stateless table so let's do that now it says you are about to paste 40 rows into a new table and if you click yes it'll create that table for it as you can see down here now in the lower left there's a new table now called state list so let's close this query we don't want to save this query at this time and if we double click on state list you can see now it has that um, all the values from our uh, select or our unique value query and it put all the unique state values into one table so let's go ahead and close this and now what we want to do is use the state list table as a lookup table in our customer table. So let's open up customer table. And what we want to do is when users are entering in new customers, they want to be able to pick from a list of ava uh, available states and we only want them to select from that list that comes that uh, that exists in our state list table so let's go back to the design view of our customer table okay and then what we want to do is we want to come down to the state field and if you come down to the lower part here we want to uh, click on the lookup tab and what we want to do is we want to make this a combo box. In other words, we want to uh, make it a list where when people come into the customer table or are entering new customers, we want them to select from that list. So we want to make this a combo box. Select combo box. And what we want to do is we want to change the value of the row source. So in other words, what does this, this mean? It means that where are the values going to come from to populate this combo box and the values are going to come from that new table that we created which was a state list table and now there's another value that we want to change and it says limit to list down here it says limit to list and what that means is uh, we want again we only want the user to enter values that already exist in this stateless table so we want to click to make sure that uh, the value there is yes so now let's go back to, to the data uh, sheet view by clicking on this view button up here in the upper left hand corner it first wants to make sure that we want to save the table or save the changes that we just made which is yes let's go down to the N record and let's test this out we want to make a, a new record and we won't uh, put in all values here at this point but as we come over to the state column as you can see now there's a drop-down table and this drop-down uh, uh, list is now populated with all the values that currently exist in the state list table as you can see there so right now um, you're able to select anything from this list and if you tab away from there it gives you no problems but let's now let's say that we want to enter in a value that doesn't exist in here uh, and what that means is what I already know that the state of New Jersey does not appear in this list so we click on here we go down to the ends you can see that New Jersey does not exist in this table or in this list so let's type in New Jersey and let's see what happens it allows you to type it in but what look what happens when I tab away it says the text you entered isn't an item in the list select an item from the list or enter text that matches one of the listed items 
So again, it's validating what you're putting into this field. So, uh, so that is the whole purpose. One of the purposes of a make uh, table query is we could utilize making separate tables of just data that we want to be able to use in another table as lookup values. So I hope this tutorial helps you better understand what a make table query is in Access 2016. In future lessons, I'm going to be going over all those other action queries that we talked about at the beginning of this tutorial. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I appreciate your time for uh, learning something new today. And please pass, pass this along to your other uh, uh, friends and family and co-workers who may benefit from this tutorial. Again, this is Keith All, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye now.